First of all, before we go anywhere, we need to know how to set screensavers. This is a very easy and simple task. To do this, we need to get to personalization. You can do this by clicking on Cortana and searching personalization. And just a quick note, personalization via right clicking on the desktop is not the same as searching for it. Searching for it brings up the control panel version, which includes the option to change screensavers. Right clicking on the desktop and selecting personalization, however, will bring up the Windows settings, which does not include this feature. Once on personalization, click on screensavers. You then have the option to change screensavers and also change any settings about them, such as speed and color. Now that we know that, we can get on to installing some screensavers. For classic screensavers, a great website to use is screensaverplanet.com and is what we'll be using to find our classic screensavers. So, once on the website, go to the search bar and search for what you want. In this case, I will be searching for flying windows. Once you have found what you're looking for, simply click on it. You can then see screenshots and a video representation of what the screensaver will look like. Once you have done that and it's a screensaver you wish to install, simply click download and wait for the download to finish. We firstly need to get into the drive which you installed Windows on. In most cases, this is the C drive. We can quickly open this by holding the Windows key in R and then typing C colon. Once we have done this, we need to find the folder named Windows. If this file is not in this drive, it is quite possible you have Windows installed on another drive. Once you have found the folder named Windows, click on it and find the folder System32. Click on it and then drag your download file into the folder. Windows will then prompt you to grant permission. Click continue. We then need to extract the file. Do this by right clicking on the file, clicking on extract and then selecting the location, the location being system32. You can make this process easier by downloading WinRAR. Once you have done that, you can then go check to make sure the installation was a success.